स्वदेशी नाविगेशन उपग्रहानी मोस्कुन्टु PSLV C31 निंगिलोनी की दूसकु पोतो होंदी प्रस्नों अकनीची प्रिचेक्ष प्रसारन सुद्धा The screen is indicating a perigee of 226 by 7,700 kilometers So in the next 100 seconds to 250 seconds of flight we will see the perigee being increased from 228 to 280 and apogee almost going from 8,000 to 20,000 kilometers. And this being a planar mission, the, whatever the azimuth was selected for the launch with an inclination 19.18 degree has been already achieved. So the remaining phase of flight of 150 seconds is going to impart the velocity totally into the apogee now. So orbit as I am seeing on my screen is uh, 232 by 9,000 Six hundred and plus seventeen minutes forty five seconds kilometers. So thousand twenty five seconds velocity eight point seven and the vehicle is at an altitude of three hundred and fifty kilometers. Right now the orbit at this instant of time is uh, two hundred and forty kilometer perigee and apogee of eleven thousand five hundred kilometers. Normal. So four stage performance is normal. 1058 seconds. Almost 8.9 kilometer per second. Perigee is uh, nearing its final destination. 250 kilometers, another 30 kilometers to go. An apogee of almost uh, 14,000 kilometer now. Plus 18 minutes. another 40 seconds to go into the flight before we hear the PS4 cutoff and the perigee and apogee conditions required for INSS 1E being met. So after the PS4 cutoff command is generated, we will have the separation of the INSS 1E taking place at 37 seconds after the PS4 cutoff. Another 20 seconds to go, 1110 seconds, 9.1 kilometer velocity, which is the relative velocity an altitude of 440 and apogee we are almost reaching the final number 19,500 km with perigee has already reached the flight conditions 282 point something PS4 and PS4 has been cut off. Injection conditions are achieved. So at 1124.5 seconds we have the PS4 cut off and the final orbit achieved is 284 by 20,668 kilometers in fact with an inclination 19.2 degrees. So very precise orbit. Uh, after the target conditions being met, the PS4 stage has cut off and uh, we'll just hear in the next 20 to 30 seconds the separation of the satellite, which is the final event in this particular mission. As always, the yes, IMS-1E has been successfully separated from the, the vehicle at 1161 seconds and the final orbit indicated is 20,667 km of and the perigee of 284 km. And the mission director has just made an announcement that PSLV C-31 INNS-1E mission has been successfully achieved. We have two tracking and the satellite has satellite. been successfully placed in this designated orbit of 284 by 20,667 seconds with an orbit inclination of 19.2 seconds. So mission has been successfully achieved right now. We are just awaiting for uh, Chairman Isro to come and uh, Chairman Isro to come and address the Isro community. So Chairman Isro me meeting uh, the various uh, dignitaries who are there in the Mission Control Center. Good morning to all of you. Today, with this new year, we are starting the Indian Regional Navigation Satellite's fifth launch, fifth of the seven satellite constellation. And with this uh, satellite in place, within our country, we will be able to get 24 by 7, a good positional accuracy. 
and let me take this opportunity to congratulate the entire ISRO team for the wonderful work they have done. And we have a long way to go. We have two more satellites in this constellation, which we intend to complete in the next couple of months. I request uh, Jay Kumar to say a few words on this occasion. Good morning. Really, ISRO's New Year 2016 starts with a grand success. Everything went down well with the PSLE C31 IRNS only mission. In fact, the satellite was injected very precisely into the intended orbit, very close. You have seen that the orbit we have achieved. And if we have employed the most powerful variant of PSLE, PSLE XL vehicle for this mission. So with that only we will be able to this, carry these satellites and uh, like previous PSLE missions, this also has got some uniqueness. In fact, with this launch, you know we have three variants in PSLE and uh, with this launch, 11, it, 33, launches we complete, 33 launches we completed, with this it comes to 11, 11, 11, the Coral 11, XL 11 and uh, Generic also 11. So that is, it matches, coincides. And this is the first ISRO's magnificent mission in the new year. Really, it was really went good. And the other one is that with this launch, all the IRNS satellites with 29 degree inclination parking orbit that has been completed in the phase one series. And another one is this, uh, see this, we had the last launch the, on uh, December 16th. Exactly after one month, we are having one more launch and it was a long waited wish of every one of the ISRO team to have PS3 launch every month. So that also has come to the reality. And really it's a great, and uh, let me take this opportunity to express my gratitude each and every one of the ISRO team and uh, all our seniors who have been with us to address the issues and to guide us and the industrial counterparts who has been always with us meeting our demand and each and every one of you. And let me wish good luck to the satellite team, satellite director, to the early commissioning of the satellite also. Thank you. We have Kuni Krishnan, director, SDS Sisha. Good morning, all of you. We have majestically opened the launch calendar of 2016. In no time after celebrating the glory of completing 50 launches from Srihari Kota recently, today ISRO has presented a sweet New Year gift to our country. As mentioned by the mission director, PSLV is steadfastly progressing in its reliability race by accomplishing 32 consecutive successful missions through the very precise injection of IR, IRNSS 1E, the fifth navigation satellite in the seven satellite IRNSS constellation into the intended orbit. With the remaining two satellites to be launched in the next two and a half months, we are approaching very close to the target of having our own satellite navigation system for India. The coming days in 2016, are going to be very hectic here and very exciting with a multitude of missions ahead very clearly defined by our chairman. Both the launch pads at SHAR will be utilizing along with the currently available integration facilities to their maximum efficiencies. We all need to continue the excellent work we have been doing 